Today we are going to create this object changing slider animation in After Effects. It's very easy to create and you can use it for any objects. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I'm in After Effects and in order to create this effect, you have to record a video of different objects. So let me show you how to do that. Just take out your smartphone or camera and you have to record a video while placing it on a tripod or something so that the scene does not move at all. So here I am recording from my smartphone and just place some object in front of you and make sure that none of the lighting or anything changes. All we have to do is just simply record a video where all the things remain same. And after that, you can take out your hand and just place it on the surface and pretend that you are sliding it on a slider like this. You can move left and right however you want. And now once you're done with this, you can remove your hand. So at this point, you can replace this object, whatever you have with some different objects. So for example, here you can see I have placed my finger just to know where the object was. And after that, you can place some other object at the exact same location. Now remove your hand and let it record for a few seconds. And then again, place your hand at the same exact location, then place the other object and then remove your hand again record for a couple of seconds just make sure that your camera does not move or the lighting does not change and in the same way you can record a bunch of different objects so once you're done with this you can import that video in after effects and you are ready to go so first i'm going to select this and let's drag it inside the composition let's quickly pick out the place where we have our hand sliding so at this point we can have our hand so i'm going to select this and let's trim this out Let's set this to beginning to set this to quarter for now. And here we have our finger moving. So I'm going to trim it to this point. So hold on the shift control shift D to split the layer because we are going to create the animation in this region only. After that, we can move ahead and start collecting all of these objects. So here we have the first object already in the frame. And let's go to a point where we have the second object. So here we have the second one. And at this point, we can let's zoom in just record a couple of seconds and hold on the control shift d key so that we have this first object let's move it to the very beginning now again let's move ahead and let's select the second object so here we have this let's select a couple of points it does not matter if your hand comes in the other frames like this because we are going to freeze frame the first frame anyways let's move it to the very beginning and let's select the other object so make sure that the first frame does not have any thing where yeah, I'm cleaning the table. So here we have this object and let's trim this. So this is the first frame. Make sure that this is completely blank and let's move a little bit ahead. We can trim it over here as well. So now I have cut out all of these elements and here we have everything. Now let's move everything to the beginning and let's move it as well. Now I'm going to select all of these layers except the last one, which is our background. So right click, go to time and let's go to the very beginning for all of them. Right click time and let's freeze frame. Now let's go to somewhere around one second and I'm going to hold on the alt key and press the right square bracket so that all of these layers are equal length. Now we have to mask out all of these objects. So masking is actually quite easy. All you have to do is just simply select the pen tool. And we have this first object so we are only going to mask the area that is around our object like that now let's select this press f and i'm going to feather it out something like that now we can move it ahead let's select the second object let's select the pen tool again let's draw a mask around it let's press f and increase the feather quite a bit Let's move it ahead and repeat this step till you have masked out all of these objects. So before we continue, if you enjoy my work and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. Now let's continue. Now I have masked out all of these objects and let's select every one and let's move them away. Now we can move and see where our finger starts moving. So at this point, we can have our first object come in so here we have this and you can see that we have feathered out everything and none of the areas are visible and let's zoom in i'm going to like keep it let's do one thing let's go to the very end where our finger stops somewhere around here 
so i'm going to press the star key or asterisk or you can just simply click and let's bring the marker so this is going to be our final endpoint so we have to place all of these objects in between these let's move a couple of frames ahead and i'm going to trim these this layer then we can have our second object so let's bring it in and if i move here we have this mouse and again it is nicely placed there is one more thing that you have to take care of so while recording make sure your camera is in manual mode so that it does not change any setting but since i was recording from my phone and here you can see that it adjusted the brightness of the shot so this one is like little bit more bright as compared to the background but don't worry in case you have this kind of scenario then we can fix that i will show you how to do that but first let's place all of these objects so again move a couple of frames ahead let's trim this and let's move all of them here and here we have the next object so let's place it in case you are able to see the bottom object then you can play around with the mask perfect let's move a couple of frames and let's trim this let's bring the other object in so now we have trimmed all of them so if i press play perfect so here we have all of these we can extend this one so that it stays now once it starts moving in the backward direction you can again do the same thing by simply changing the object and like placing them after that now our next step is to fix this color so it's actually quite easy all we have to do is just select this layer and let's apply uh, brightness and contrast so in my case the brightness was a little bit up now there is a very nice way of like checking out how to do that you can either like start playing with this value manually you can just like lower it down till you find something that matches or there is one more thing you can change the mode from here to red so now you can see we can figure out so this area is like a little bit brighter as compared to this one so we can start moving and lowering down this value till you are not able to see any difference between these two areas yeah you can see we have blended it nicely so if i go back to the rgb mode now you can see we are not able to see that so we can copy this and let's select other points so this one is also bright so press ctrl v now here you can see we have fixed that and this one is already fixed this is also nice this one we can fix by placing the effect this one as well and at last this one ctrl v so here you can see we have fixed all of these now in the same way when our hand is moving in the opposite direction you can like keep on like duplicate them and we can like start placing them once we start moving so at this point we can have our first object So here you can see now we have the objects in the backward direction so after that we are ready to create our slider so slider is actually quite easy all we have to do is just simply select this pen tool and let's just go to the very beginning where we have this finger let's just click and then go to this point where we stop and let's click once again so here we have this line and i'm going to increase the stroke just to see the line so now you can see our hand will be moving across this one now let's create a circle that will move along this so let's just create a circle let's make this red stroke zero and let's place it at this end where we have this line now we can make this 3d as well now first let's do one more thing let's create a triangle so using the pen tool you can just draw a rough triangle that let's make this one white and i'm going to place it above this let's parent this one to the this layer and make it 3d as well now we can select this and press r and make sure that its anchor point is in the center so it is not so you can hold on the control key and double click on this pan anchor tool now it's in the center and let's just rotate it along the y-axis so that we have this nice angle perfect now in order to animate it all we have to do is just add a keyframe for position let's add a keyframe now let's zoom in we are going to follow this our finger so hold on the shift key and press page down key to move 10 frames ahead now just simply move it along the line 
like that again press shift page down key so we are following our finger as it is moving so now if i press play you can see that this slider will start moving with our finger and in the same way you can like go in the opposite direction to trace back we can set all of them to let's say add and we can apply glow let's apply it onto this layer and we can tweak out some properties so first i'm going to increase the radius now let's copy this and just paste it onto the other layers now here we have our slider and if you think that you don't want to make this line visible then you can set this to let's say normal there you go now here you can see we have created our slider and again you can like go in the opposite direction and you can have all of these repeated as well so this is how you can create a slider animation to change the objects and the tutorial project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.